A volunteer-based organization is reminding you as you prepare for the storm to keep your elderly neighbors in mind. Important information here. Hundreds of seniors rely on Meals on Wheels for daily food delivery, but the storm will most likely keep volunteers from their routes. WSLS 10's Rachel Lucas spoke with a local office on aging about how it's making sure seniors have enough supplies. The local office on aging has been working for months now to make sure that 600 of their seniors across Southwest Virginia have the meals they need during the storm. Part of it is the meal, but part of it is the socialization of seeing a volunteer. Sometimes those are the only folks they see on any given day. What they call a labor of love, local volunteers make daily visits to hundreds of seniors each day, ensuring they have a hot meal and a good state of mind. This Friday, however, they won't be able to make their visit, but they've been planning ahead. We start in late November and we try to deliver a snow emergency bag every week until they have five in the home. The LOA have used stores of canned goods to stock each senior in the Mills on Wheels program up for snow days. And while they may not be able to visit in person, the seniors won't be forgotten. Each staff will call their service area clients, check on them, remind them that they've got the food in the home that we've been delivering, and just make sure they're okay and talk to them if they need to for a while or whatever, just to assure them that all is well. Haley wants to remind the public to remember your elderly neighbors and to lend a helping hand, making sure they have all the supplies they need and help shoveling the driveways. She says that's the number one call for help they receive. In Roanoke, I'm Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10.